How to install Java in a fresh Ubuntu system? First, update the repository using the command apt get space update. Then you can install Java or OpenJDK using the command apt get install openjdk 17 jdk. Then, yeah, press Y and simply wait for it to finish. Now that we have Java, let's set up Besu. For that, first we need to download the Besu binaries. Using the wget command and passing in the URL, we download the Besu. Wait for it to finish. Now extract the archive. Next we set the environmental variable. Now we can reload the bashasasi sasi file for this console and finally check the Besu version to make sure that it is installed. Next we are going to install the lighthouse client. We will use the wget command to get the archive. Wait for it to finish. Next we will use the tar command to unzip the archive. Now that we have the binary, we will copy it to the local binary folder using the cp command. Now we will check if we the lighthouse is installed correctly using the command lighthouse hyphen hyphen version. It works. Now that we have installed both the client, next we need to create a JWT seeker token to establish authorized communication between Lighthouse and Besu. For that, we are going to use the OpenSSL command. We will create a random 32 byte length hex value. We will just trim out the last slash n and store it to the JWT seeker.hex file. Now that we are done with the preparation, we can go ahead and run the Ethereum node. For this, first we need to configure and run the execution client. We can do this by creating a configuration file for the execution client. We call it the config.tom. I will just paste the configuration over here, which includes which network, where to store the data and even the JWT secret. Save it. Next, we can run the execution client using the command besu-xlauncher. Once it is done, we can open a new terminal. And here we can run the lighthouse client. Using the command displayed on the screen. And now, we wait for it to start syncing. This is going to take a little bit of time. I will be back once it is done. You can ignore the warnings and errors that are shown right now. And once at the end you can see that it started the syncing and it's importing the block. That's it for the Ethereum node.